In some scenes from the Despicable Me and Minions movies, those little yellow creatures are everywhere. But what if I told you they're in way more places than you might think? Would you believe it? For example, if you've ever watched the Lorax, you might not have noticed, but you've seen those little yellow beings over and over again. One such appearance of Gru's minions happens when Ted, the main character, is messing around with things in his room before heading out to find the legendary Wansler. He opens a drawer, and inside we see all sorts of things tossed about, like a battery, a nail, and even a lock. But among all that, we also spot a small rubber minion tucked in the corner, showing that the little yellow beings who appeared two years before the Lorax's release are famous, not just here, but everywhere. Everywhere. Check out all the references to the minions in other movies and cartoons now. So get ready, because Cinewave is about to start. The Simpsons is the longest running animated series still airing today. And since they are a staple of pop culture, they also reference many other cartoons and characters. One of these references occurs in a Halloween episode where various alternate versions of the Springfield family appear. One version looks just like the Minions, with short bodies, small legs, and visors on their faces. And Meggie's even has one eye like some of the Minions do. I guess the fact that both shows have characters with yellow skin kind of makes them cousins, don't you think? <laughs> You might have heard about a web series focused on talking fruits and vegetables called Annoying Orange, which became so popular online that it got its own show on Cartoon Network. In one episode of Annoying Orange, we see a bunch of vegetables having a meeting in the kitchen, and a trio of onions appears wearing blue overalls and goggles with both one and two eyes, just like the little minions. <laughs> If there's an animated show that pokes fun at all other animations, it's definitely mad. And of course, Despicable Me was never going to be left out. In one of the episodes of this wild show, we see the Japanese version of various famous Western films. As they flash by, one of them is Despicable Me. But if you translate the Japanese text in the movie description, you'll see it mentions Uncle Fester and his helpers, referencing the similarity between Gru and the character from The Addams Family and The Show Wednesday. If you look closely, you'll notice that the characters, including the minions, are dressed like Uncle Fester, and one of them even has long black hair like Wednesdays. <laughs> In The Secret Life of Pets, another Illumination film, we also see Gru make an appearance. When the dogs are in the park, if you look closely in the background, you'll see our favorite villain walking his pet, the not-so-cuddly and scary Kyle, right there in the background, almost unnoticeably. But Gru isn't the only family member being honored in the 2016 movie The Secret Life of Pets. When Duke and Max are in the sewers with Snowball's crew, one of the gang members, the tattooed pig, shows what humans did to him. He reveals his back, covered in tattoos, and among them is one that catches the eye of Despicable Me fans, a unicorn. It's exactly like the unicorn that Agnes gets at the amusement park, thanks to Gru in the first movie. Honestly, I think Gru's daughter is one of the cutest characters in animation. If you think so too, comment below with hashtag Agnes. Don't let me! One of my favorite shows, The Amazing World of Gumball, also has some subtle references to our beloved minions. In the episode where Gumball and Darwin go with Nicole to her workplace to help her use the computer, in one of the dialogue boxes they open, we can see a completely different version of the Minions, but it's still a reference. Here, we can see that the character's colors are inverted, and this time the Minion's skin is blue. This is pretty clever, since it helps Cartoon Network avoid getting sued while still making a cool reference. Netflix released a show some time ago made by the same creator of Gravity Falls called Inside Job. In this animation, a secret organization that runs the world from the shadows is shown, but in a professionalized way. In one of the episodes, the characters mention that the minions were created to brainwash ordinary people, and then we see the little yellow creatures appear on a screen, singing and dancing. Could this be true? If so, it definitely worked on me because I love the minions, especially when they're singing. <laughs> Another show, this one for teens and adults, called American Dad, also makes a reference to the Yellow Servants of Gru, but in a much more outrageous way. One of the characters, an alien named Roger, disguises himself as a woman, goes to a festival, and asks his friend to try his luck at a shooting booth because he wants one of the dolls that they have there. And if we look closely, we'll notice that the dolls are a minion version of the famous reggae singer Bob Marley, if you catch my drift. This minion reference is wearing typical Jamaican clothing, Bob's homeland, and even has a cigarette in its mouth. That was a hilarious reference. A lot of people don't know, but American Dad is from the same creators as Family Guy. And in this show, we see the minions being referenced time and time again. In one instance, Peter gives a DVD to Brian, his dog, and says it's the movie Minions 3. 
but this time Gru has been replaced by a famous Hollywood producer known for being kind of rough. Then we see a scene with a small minion alongside this director, and we can see the little creature trembling with fear of the new Gru. Poor minion. But let me ask you something. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the subscribe link below so you don't miss our daily videos. Um, super cool. <laughs> In The Secret Life of Pets 2, we see that all the animals eventually make it back home safely to their owners. And one of them is a cute little hamster who belongs to a young boy, who doesn't just seem to be a fan of small furry rodents, but also loves funny yellow creatures with one eye. That's because when the hamster is on the bed with his owner, we can see on the dresser next to the lamp a little minion toy, which looks exactly like the one we saw in Ted's drawer in the Lorax. As we mentioned, in the movie about the red-haired protector of nature, we can see that the animators really enjoyed making references to Illumination's first animated film. In certain scenes of the movie, if you look closely at Ted's sneakers, you'll notice they have an interesting logo featuring one eye, a minion! More than that, the brand of his shoes is called Gru Shoes, directly referencing the leader of the yellow creatures. And what? But it's not just in cartoons and animations where we see references to minions. We've seen this happen in live action movies too. The best example is in the movie Mortal Engines, set in a post-apocalyptic future where cities move around on wheels due to a cataclysm that hit the world. But even so, the inhabitants of this new world in London try to preserve their culture. And when they're in a museum, they reference the ancient gods of the USA. At that moment, we see that they were referring to none other than the minions themselves. I laughed so hard when I saw this reference while watching the movie. <laughs> Going back to the movie The Secret Life of Pets again, we find another reference in the same animation to the minions. When Duke first arrives home, we see that he and Max don't get along very well, and the two dogs start facing off. And while Duke is using his bowl, if you look behind him, you'll notice that one of the fridge magnets has a rather peculiar shape. That's right, it's shaped like the famous minion symbol, proving once again that the yellow creatures are very famous in the animal world. Returning to Family Guy, in another episode, we see Lois talking to her husband, who has now become someone very important. And she asks him for money, asking if that's how he wants to feel more powerful. So he hands her a small card and tells her to talk to one of his minions to get the money. And besides explicitly mentioning the minions, notice that his card is yellow and has two little eyes, clearly referencing Gru's servants. Talking about the Simpsons once more, as we mentioned before, there are some references to other yellow beings in the Springfield animation. In one episode, we see Lisa and Bart at an amusement park waiting in line for a water ride. And when they finally get to the entrance of the ride, we see that the sign has a clear reference to the minions, only with the name changed to Grunions. And not only that, the entire theme park revolves around the Grunions, who are seen multiple times throughout the episode as mascots scattered around the park, making it even clearer that this is a parody of the minions in the Simpsons style. Seeing the minions, even in small references, is always so funny and entertaining. And if you think so too, we want you to keep watching great videos, so we've picked these two that are popping up on your screen right now. Just choose which one you want to watch first and click on it. Thanks, and enjoy your next video.